This is a first order differential equation. I want you to make an attempt at solving. Pause the video, write it down and solve it. And then we watch the solution. Alright, you're finished? So, let's examine the solution. I'm thinking, suppose you divide both sides by cos y. You get cos y over cos y is 1 plus 1 plus e to the negative x sine y divided by cos y dy by dx equals 0. Alright. Um, I'm thinking of saying that this is sine y over cos y, which is tan y. The problem is we're going to have to integrate tan y. So we'd have to find something that we differentiate to get tan y. I um, found it in my table of derivative. If there was something that we differentiate to get tan y, then we, when we integrate tan y, it would be that something there. But I wasn't able to find it. And we can differentiate tan x to get sex square x. So you can differentiate tan y to get sex square y. Right? But <clears throat> I don't know what it is that you differentiate to get tan y. I haven't seen it. I mean, I haven't seen it in my table of derivatives. So let's keep this as sine y over cos y. Alright. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. So we have 1 plus e to the negative x sine y over cosine y equal no, e to the negative x sine y over cos y dy by dx equals negative 1. Alright. So let us divide by 1 plus e to the negative x. So we have sine y over cosine y dy by dx equals negative 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x. Alright? Then multiply across by dx. So we have this dx. Okay, so we have that. So let's now integrate. Integrate both of these. Now, on the left, what we have? Um, all we can do is use for the left hand side. Let u be equal to cos y. So we use um, substitution, integration by substitution. The u by dx would be, we differentiate cos, differentiate cos, you get, wait, we differentiate sine, you get cos, cosine. So differentiate cosine, you get minus sine. So this is negative sine y. So therefore dx, du by dx, so d, oh no, I said du by dx, it's du by dy, this is a y, du by dy, I should say. So du by dy, we have u and y, du by dy is equal to negative sine y. So dy would be du over negative sine y. Alright? So now, what we have is the integral of u, of, of sine y, I mean, over cosine y, which is u, times du over negative sine y. See that? So this would be now sine y would cancel sine y. So we have negative integral 
of 1 over u, du, which is negative, ln u. Well, I was going to put a plus c, but it would make sense putting a plus c on the left. We're going to put it on the right. So we have minus ln u, which is the same as minus ln cos y. All right? Same as minus ln cos y. So, we integrated the left hand side. Negative ln cosine y is equal to. I want to see what the integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x is. Let us rewrite this down here. Let's call it negative integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x dx. So, it's negative integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x dx. Now, the right hand side, we're dealing with the integral, negative integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x. One thing you could do, suppose you say, this is 1 plus e to the negative x minus e to the negative x dx. We'll try that little trick there and see. This is the integral of, this will be 1 plus e to the negative x over 1 plus e to the negative x dx, or uh, let's not put the dx here, minus, this integral of all of this, minus e to the negative x over 1 plus e to the negative x. And then we have dx. Okay. Now, this would turn out to be negative integral of 1 minus e to the negative x over 1 plus e to the negative x dx, which would be negative integral of 1 dx. Um, so minus negative, so it would be now plus integral of e to the negative x over 1 plus e to the negative x dx. Now, here, this would be, when you integrate, what well, I get x. This would be negative x plus. We have the plus there because remember we had minus and then minus when you want the bracket becomes plus. Um I will deal with this now. Let's do this one by substitution. Let u be equal to 1 plus e to the negative x so that the u by dx equals negative e to the negative x and then the x is equal to du over negative e to the negative x so what we have is the integral of e to the negative x divided by u du over negative e to the negative x this would, these would cancel so you have negative x, it will be plus minus. So it's minus integral of 1 over u du, which is negative x minus integral of, well, minus. The integral of 1 over u du would be ln u plus c. We'll put the plus c now because it's on the right hand side. Um, which would be negative x minus ln, what was u again? u was 1 plus e to the negative x plus c. So here now, what we have is negative ln cos y on the left. We have negative ln of cosine y is equal to 
And on the right hand side now, we have negative x minus ln 1 plus e to the negative x plus c. Alright, so what do we do with this now? Let's see if we can neat this up a bit using our knowledge of um, indices and logarithms. So what we have here, this would be ln, negative ln cos y, would be ln cos y, and that is raised to the negative 1, equal, uh, so it would be negative x minus ln 1 plus e to the negative x, Call this plus ln of another constant. Call it ln d. Alright, so this would be ln cos y to the negative 1 would be 1 over cos y equals negative x minus, well, here. This would be ln d times 1 plus e to the negative x. Using your knowledge of logarithms. So here. Alright, let us raise e to the power of all of this. Let's do it up here. Because we have run out of scrolling space down here. e to the ln. 1 over cos y so we have e to the ln 1 over cos y so we're having e raised to both sides equal e to the negative x minus so that's equal to e to the negative x minus minus what is it now minus ln d so it's minus ln d and then 1 plus e to the negative x 1 plus e to the negative x all right so this now becomes 1 over cos y equals so it would be e to the negative x, e to the negative ln d, 1 plus e to the negative x. Oh, okay, alright. So, this would be 1 over cos y equals e, e to the negative x. Um, e to the ln d 1 plus e to the negative x and this would be raised to the power of negative 1 this d would also be raised to the power of negative 1 but these are constant and when you raise it to the negative 1 you just get another constant so call that new constant E, whatever it is. Alright, so you have 1 over cos y equals e to the negative x, e to the ln, this is just it itself, times E, 1 plus e to the negative x, to the negative 1. Alright, so what you do with it after that. One over cos, one over cosine is secant. So, sec y, um, equals e to the negative x, 
But it's the same as 1 over e to the x. And this is the same as e over 1 plus e to the negative x. Right? So that's what we have. Now, suppose we multiply everything by e to the neg by e to the x and e one plus e to the negative x we would get e to the x one plus e to the negative x secant y equals um I use keep saying e and e even though this is uppercase e let's call it f the constant let's call it f so that's f there if we open the bracket e to the x times one is just e to the x plus e to the x times e to the negative x would be one right and this would be if you open the bracket let's rewrite this let's rewrite this and then open the bracket this is sec y e to the x 1 plus e to the negative x equals the constant f so open the bracket now this is sec y um, no, we don't have to open the bracket to everything sec y and then open the bracket now sec y will multiply by everything here e to the x times 1 is just e to the x plus e to the x times e to the negative x is 1 equals f so we have e to the x plus 1 sec y is equal to f. Alright, so I guess that's neat enough. That's the general solution for solving the, um, the differential equation.